What is going on you guys? Welcome to today's video. This is day two of our manual shop process on the Mark II. Yesterday, we got the three-speed auto out, which is right here, this massive tank of a transmission, and I made a giant mess when I need to up today, but that is out. The plan for today is to get the remaining automatic pieces out of the car, which is the shifter, the pedal box, and the cluster. Um, shouldn't take too long, even though I hate working on the dash. Hopefully it isn't too bad. After that, we have the manual pedals to go in, we have the manual shifter box, and of course, the manual transmission, and our clutch kit, which is down here, which actually I still have to pull off the old flywheel that's still down there. Um, so hopefully we can get majority of that done today. This might be a three-day process. It could be done today. Really just depends on how much this car fights me, which with this being out of the way, which is the biggest part, I think we're uh, pretty smooth sailing at this point. Now, I saw a bunch of comments on the shifter rebuild video saying, I can't believe he didn't repaint the shifter box. Look at this thing. It's really not as bad as you're making it out to be. And plus, this is going to be under the car above the heat shield you are literally never going to see it once it's in the car and you got to remember this 1.8 with the five speed we're doing right now this isn't the end for this car this is temporary so we just drive the car and enjoy it but this the three six that is the end goal for this car when that goes in the car the bay will get cleaned this will be painted everything will be brand new but right now it's just a 1.8 with a five speed which this i will go through and clean up a little bit but it's not that serious. I've already cleaned the entire engine. It looks much better, but again, it's not It's not that serious. And again, you're never going to see this. So all the people who are complaining about this not getting painted, you'll survive. And if it bothers you, good. Look at it. Hope that drives you absolutely insane. So our first step of today will be removing the automatic pedals out of the car and swapping in our manual set, which I have right here. Uh, there's seven bolts that holds the entire cage in. You have two at the bottom, one and two. It'll be under the carpet a little bit. Three, four, five, six and seven up top here. I did, however, on this car, have to remove the steering column. Um, and I pulled that out of the car because there's like a bracket over here that's kind of my way, and it made it easy to pull the entire column out, which on this car, I'm gonna swap this column out anyways to swap the stock because one's broken. Um, so it's kind of two birds with one stone. Ah, uh, here we are under the dash, my absolute favorite place in the entire world. I will say, looking at it right off the bat, the automatic pedal box looks a bit different. The manual one came down lower. I'm hoping this fits, hold on because this one came out of a 91 and this car's an 87 so you know i didn't even think about that this pedal box might not even fit in this car if the mounting spots are completely different hang on so these go way way low interesting so in the other car it was like way down here where the last bolts went i'm gonna have to pull this carpet out and see if there's even a spot down there i have the spot in the firewall to go through with the clutch cable and stuff but we might not be able to fit that entire bracket in here if the entire thing is different and I don't have the correct bolt holes. Now I see up there, I have the one, two, three, the same up there and I have the side one, but I'm assuming it's down here somewhere. If it's not, if I can just get one, two, three, four, and five of the seven, I think would be okay. But I need to double check down here and see if I actually have the mounting spots for these two lower ones. All right, so progress so far, I got all five bolts that hold the automatic pedal cage in. Um, but I am gonna have to remove the steering column because there's a separate bracket, this one, and that one, there's two bolts that are part of the pedal bracket, those two are already off, but there's one more up here in the corner that holds this bracket back here that braces the column, which sits over top of the pedals. So that has to go away. I'm gonna pull this out, pull this off, and then we can get the entire thing. Cause you can see it's already had to loose. The switch up here for the brake switch and this one for the, uh, the shifter itself. Those are out, I need to pull the cable up there out of uh, the gas pedal but it's almost there so one more bolt uh, i'm gonna take these two right here off pull the column out and then uh work our way out of here so i said the automatic pedal box versus the manual one actually look different but they are the same but it did look different looking inside the car but if you look way down there you can see that is the bolt there so there's one there and one there it's exactly the same as this one i'm just getting to these last two ones that are way Way under the carpet. For some reason, all just look different, but the pedal box are actually the same. There's just no clutch pedal or the clutch uh, stuff over here. So at this point, gas pedal disconnected. Um, this whole bracket back here for the steering column is disconnected. Our whole entire wheel and column is out. So all that's left is the last two bolts, and I think that's it. Unlike the manual car that has this one up here on the back side that goes to the file, which is the cable for the clutch. That actually pinches the file and helps hold the cage in. I don't think the automatic one has anything like that because brakes undone and gas undone, that's it. So once these last two bolts are out down here, we should be able to maneuver this thing free, hopefully. Oh. 
Oh, that was stupid. I'm sweating. You'll see this? <sighs> but she's out. She fought me, but we got her. End up pulling off the hood latch cable over here to pull the carpet bit forward more to get stuck at the bottom side, but we got her. Between trying to get past the steering column down there and this piece up top, kind of super annoying, which is why I hate working on the dash. And I'm like, I hear pouring sweat, almost fell over. But automatic pedals, that little side by side, bam. Auto pedals, manual pedals. Exact same housing, but obviously we need all these internal pieces, which actually looking at it now, could I have swapped this over? Let me see. Let me see if I did this for no reason. No, because we have the, no, you need this one. Because this one has the little mounting piece for the spring and the little stopper. So this entire welded on piece is missing from that one. You could just move, looks like this bar that goes through this one to that one and swap in the pedal, but you're missing the entire housing, like all this welded on piece. So you wouldn't need the entire thing, which is good because if I didn't need to pull this entire thing out, I've been really upset, but thankfully this one's completely different. So now we just reverse the process, which is so much fun. <sighs> That was awesome. Aside from the manual pedal set, I also have the throttle cable from that car and the clutch cable. This one's no problem. Hooks on to the back side of the clutch pedal and then to the transmission. That's very easy. What I'm not quite sure on just yet, you can see how this one would connect in the normal fashion. But this car being an automatic, it actually had two throttle cables. One coming off of the pedal, which is this one right here that went over to this bracket. This attached to the transmission on the front side right here. And then the next cable was this one that goes through which goes to this piece right here so as you step on the gas pedal on the car it pulls this lever up which pulls the second cable that goes to our throttle body this one just kind of pops on top i'm gonna have to figure out a way to go just from the pedal right to there because i don't need two throttle cables anymore because there's no more automatic transmission but we will get to that when we get to that all right manual pedal set is in and something i should have done when i was pulling the automatic set out which i did in the parts car because it was a parts car i really didn't care yank this out it is a vent that goes from here over to there and it sits like right above the column it is in the way and it is so annoying on the way out i still want to pull it out and break it but she's out it didn't break just this thing is in the way so much because this piece sits right above here by this last bolt and it takes up so much space so do yourself a favor yank that out immediately and the whole process is much easier so this is back in. We have all the brackets and bolts to do. And then, uh, yeah, hopefully that is our last time under the dash. Okay, so majority of the pedal box is in. It's all bolted down. Um, most of it's connected. I'm trying to reconnect the steering column here. Now I'm going to swap to the newer one because my wiper stock is broken on the backside. But the connections to that stock are newer than this one, so I can't plug it in. So I'll have to get another one of these ones that has not, the piece in the back that's not broken. But that's not the problem. The issue is... I do not know, like, I don't know what I'm missing. I've taken out and put back in so many steering columns and I've never had this issue. And again, I don't know what I'm missing, but I cannot get the steering column to go into the knuckle far enough. You can see the gap, the little silver spot there. That's how far inside of here you need to go. That way, wherever it's at, somewhere down here, the bolt, this one right here, <clears throat> the bolt can go through and hold that in place. But that is as far as I can get it to go. I need like another half inch and I just don't understand what happened that all of a sudden it doesn't fit anymore. It's just not long enough. And I try like pushing down, compressing this spring, which you shouldn't have to do. And even with that fully compressed, it's still not enough to get the bolt through to hold it properly. I do not understand what's going on. I just took this off, dropped it down, put it back up. So that hasn't moved at all. This is the same calm as before, but somehow now it's not long enough. And I, I do not understand what I'm missing. And I'm about to send a hammer through the windshield of this car because I'm so annoyed right now. I've taken it back out. I just don't understand. I've never had this problem that all of a sudden it just lost like a half inch and I don't understand where. <sighs> so hopefully the next clip is this thing bolted up properly or it might be this in the woods over there because it's about to get out of here and i'm whoo it's about to be gone okay i think i've got to figure it out oh my whew. people ask me like yo you make videos it all seems so calm and it, it's not but if i put everything else in i would be demonetized and I'd probably delete my channel in a heartbeat so i can't put all this up in the video but this 
<laughs> Woo! My, I was so close to just swinging at stuff, but I figured it out. So what seems to have had happened, the column at the bottom coming out of the firewall down there must have compressed a little bit, but I couldn't pull it by hand and move it like literally at all. So I did, I took, you can see this is all off and it's all empty back here. I pulled all of that off and I put the steering rod through, bolted it up down there, that was fine. But then the steering wheel, like the entire thing was too far compressed. I couldn't even put the steering wheel on. So I did, I pulled all that off again, bolted the steering wheel up and I just yanked this entire thing forward as hard as I could and it moved like three, four inches. So now with this whole thing moved this way, I should be able to pull the steering wheel off, put the stocks back on and it should bolt up no problem. But I've never had that happen before where, I don't know, I literally just lost like an inch of the steering column or something and I couldn't figure out why. <sighs> just frustrating, but it's all good. So now if you ever pull it apart and you can't get it to reach again, you have to do this and kind of yank your steering wheel and pull everything back this way. Cause like I said, I've never had it happen before, but it did and it was really pissing me off cause it just made no sense, but it's okay. It's okay, look at it. We got three pedals down there, so that's exciting. This is next to go if I could ever finish under the dash. Hate working under the dash. All right, so at this point, under the dash is like 95% done. I have to hook up the throttle cable and the clutch cable still, but I need a break from that whole area. So moving to the engine bay, I'm gonna pull off the old flywheel down there and get a new clutch kit installed. And then after that, I need to do the shifter box back under the dash a little bit. And then uh, I need to clean this actually, clean this off. And then after that, depending on time, it can go back in. landed on my head that would have sucked but she gone all right another piece of the automatic is now out and out of the way the only thing left in this car will the cluster and the shifter box and then after that all the automatic pieces are out of this car um i do have the manual cluster out of the other car for this car but that one's a 91 this is an 87 uh, the plugins in the back might be different, but in the grand scheme of things, as long as all of this works, the transmission and the shifter, obviously we still drive the car. I just won't have the proper gauge cluster just yet, which I can get later on. But as long as like this works, we're okay. So that's out of there. We're gonna clean up all of that and we can go ahead and install our clutch. This is actually my first time doing a clutch on an eight valve. Normally you would do the flywheel to the block first, then the clutch plate and the pressure plate on top. But on these ones, it actually goes uh, pressure plate first then you have this little piece that sits inside like so to cover the bolts if i can get it in there like that your little snap ring sits under these little grooves and these two ends go in the holes right there then afterwards clutch plate will go this way sitting on the inside like so and then this is your clutch alignment tool that sits in there which fits in the center of this like so, so a little bit different than what I'm used to doing, but still not too difficult to do. We have new bolts right here. I have new bolts to hold this to the pressure plate and it should go very smooth. Check it out, first step officially done. The pressure plate is in. All the bolts torqued down to 44 foot bounds and a quarter turn after that. And our new little cover is on. So this is all good to go. All right, next up, we are ready to put our brand new clutch and our flywheel back into the car. Now, what they want to show real fast, there is right there, my finger is a little pin you can see the bottom side a little dowel pin that matches up with one spot on the pressure plate which you can see there's a gap above my finger that gap right there right here so it's not an actual hole it's a gap that one right there that lines up with this dowel pin right here that's how you line the flywheel to the pressure plate and i have well i had my alignment tool holding that in there which i'll do in a second again um that holds a clutch plate this lines up with that and then everything is bolted together and you should be good to go. So after a lot of fun, our flywheel is now matched up with our pressure plate. In theory, it's very easy to match up the little dowel pin with a cutout on the uh, on the pressure plate. But when you're actually trying to hold this thing up and this thing's heavy, it takes quite a while to get it right. But I finally got on there. You can tell because it's nice and snug and it's not spinning above the first one. It's all one unit, which is good. So I have all my bolts here. We're going to put all those back in. And then after that's tightened down, we'll pull out our alignment tool. And then uh, this is done. All right, let me show you. 
bam clutch kit officially done and in the car and good to go so the last thing i want to try and do tonight because you can see very very dark already um i want to get the automatic shifter box out of the car and get the manual shifter box in the car that way tomorrow it's just transmission in hook everything up and we're pretty much home free minus figuring out the throttle cable and a few other small things but the big stuff the transmission the shifter box the pedals that'll all be in the car we can figure out the small things afterwards but i want that shifter box out tonight that way tomorrow it's a few things and hopefully she's running so for us to get to the shifter box it's a lot of fun we must get under the car we have to undo the exhaust right there drop it down drop the entire heat shield all of that out of the way and then above that is where the box is there's four bolts that hold it in and i think maybe two on top uh drop it down and wiggle it past the exhaust and then it's out of our way all right so i just dropped the heat shield here down and i had the biggest pile of dirt so my head was about there and you can see all of this, this you know the usual clay on this car all over my face so that was awesome but heat shield is down you can see our exhaust has been let me go ahead and just pull this back if i can do it one hitter or not actually i don't think that other bolt came off but i'll get it off in a minute you can see the exhaust on there both of the bolts that held on my um this will stay for a second please stand up thank you the exhaust clamps snapped clean off as you would expect so those are gone i need new bolts for that but i'm kind of thinking while I'm pulling, you know, majority of the exhaust off already, I might just do the headers and the new exhaust because, I mean, this is already off. This is already unbolted. I already snapped some bolts on there. <sighs> it's more work to do, but I kind of want to just knock it out while we're here. So I got four bolts you can see up here. Under all that clay, you can see the shifter box up there. So there's four bolts that hold it in. Uh, got to undo those, drop that out, and then, um, yeah. Making progress. Yeah, all this dirt right on my face. That was awesome. Love that. So the four bolts under the car have been unbolted. Now we're gonna do the top section up here. This top panel should pop off somehow. And then I think it's two in the back side that hold just the top section. Once that's off, send the entire thing down and it's out of here. So with our top cover here removed, there's a plug-in on the back side and a plug-in on the front side. But I'm not quite seeing this screw here is just holding this plastic center console to um this is the tunnel is it actually to the box. Where's the box? So I think that needs to come out. But on the back side, these two here, there's no like screw. It's not holding anything, but the entire box is still pretty stiff. So I think it's just this last screw right here in the front. And if that's all it's holding it, I guess uh oh yeah, I can see it now. I guess that's it. So I'll unplug these, we'll unscrew that. And then hopefully it'll drop down. So there's a very small Allen key that holds a set screw that keeps the top of your shifter here on. I'll loosen up a bit and this should come off. Put them all together, I guess. Oh, there's two. There are two? There's one here too. Oh, there it is. Boom. Oh. All right, so there goes that. That's off. This one's unplugged. The one in the front's unplugged, and now we'll do this last screw. Actually, I pull this off first. Get that out of the way, and then we'll do this one. I think it should just drop it out of there. If this is the last screw, which I think it is. Moment of truth. Yeah, great success. So the only thing holding it up is just one screw on top, which is interesting. So four 13s in the bottom, one just Phillips head screw on the top, and uh so that's it. The last piece of automaticness in this car is out of here. We got three pedals down there. This is gone. I guess we have the auto cluster, but that kind of is what it is. This is gone. We're just sick. No more. No more. You go ahead and grab this. Where's it at? Yes. Get out of there. Get out of there. Bam. Auto shifter officially out of here. So, one last thing to do tonight. Get our manual shift box into the car. This piece has to get bolted up into the engine bay. Back over there on the steering rack. And then we'll feed uh, this rod through. And then get this piece bolted up. And then, that's it for today. Good progress. Look at that. We got a... 
manual clutch kit in there. We got manual pedals and we're gonna have a mail ship box very, very soon. We doing good. All right, so after lots and lots of fun today, let me show you the victory that is the end of our day today because look at this. There, that's, wait, 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 hold on. Wait for it, wait for it. I have another little boat we'll use it for now. Bam, we got three pedals down there. We got a manual shift box up here, ladies and gentlemen. She is no longer an auto. Look at this, oh, it just, it feels right. It feels right. If I can go back, obviously I'd buy a manual one first, but I love that we saved this car. I thoroughly love this car. 300 bucks, if I didn't buy it, they were gonna scrap it, so I'm so glad we saved this car. But if I had my way, I wouldn't buy another automatic because the starter's trash. But now we got the three pedals, we have the manual in the car. Well, the trans isn't in the car yet, but we're, we're close. You know, we are, ooh, we are so close. So at the end of day two, I think we're sitting in a pretty good spot. Um, at this point, besides the cluster, all the automatic stuff is out of the car. We have manual pedals, we have the manual shifter box, the clutch kit's in. That means tomorrow we have to put the transmission in the car, uh, hook that up, bolt in the axles, and for the most part, we're home free. I do think, though, tomorrow, since the car's already up, everything's already apart, I might as well try and get to the headers and toss those in, and do the full exhaust, and then put everything back together. So hopefully by the end of the day tomorrow, manual trans in, everything hooked up, headers and full exhaust on the car and then back on the ground and we can test drive it hopefully i gotta figure out the throttle cable how to make it connect from the gas pedal to the throttle body but i should be able to make that work if anything i got a lot of zip ties it will work some way or somehow i'll get it figured out clutch cable is pretty easy to hook up and that's it i think and speedo cable but that's not super relevant to making the whole thing work I think we got it for tomorrow. I'm super happy with the progress today. I'm so glad to be done under the dash because that's just the worst place ever. And yeah, pretty soon, very, very soon, we're gonna have a five-speed swapped Mark II with the full exhaust, which is, which is pretty exciting. So, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Do not forget to be thankful for every single day. We'll see you guys next time. Peace.